وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأجد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى تلايا ونسبيك بعد الآية والله تبارك وتعالى هي سيز إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات عد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما الله سبحانه وتعالى in this ayah he mentions in this verse سبحانه وتعالى he mentions the male and the female together and that's why this ayah has a سبب النزول a reason why it came down the reason of its revelation ومسلم رضي الله تعالى عنها she said she came to the Prophet, her husband, Nabi Muhammad. She said, Why is it that we're not mentioning the Quran the way that the men are mentioning the Quran? Why are we not mentioning the Quran as much as the men are? Um Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, a short period of time went by. The Prophet, وسلم, she heard him one day calling the people on the pulpit. And she mentions, وَأَنَا أُصَرِّحُ شَعْرِي I was combing my hair. Then she said, As soon as I heard the Prophet calling the people, ثُمَّ خَرَجْتُ I came out from my room. And I went to hear what the Prophet had to say, عليه الصلاة والسلام. And she, she heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saying, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَقُولُ O oh people, Allah is saying, إِنَّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ إِلَى آخر الآية. This hadith Imam Ahmad narrated it and Tabarani narrated it also. So Ibn Jarir Tabari also narrated in his Jam'ul Bayan, in his Tafsir Al-Quran, in this ayah when he brings it. From this brothers we learn, Wallahu A'lam, is the men and the women. The ruling for the men and the ruling for the women. In this ayah we learn that Allah wa ta'ala to his to him they are the same. They are his creation. The men, al Muslimin wal Muslimat. Wal Mu'minin wal Mu'minat. Wal Qanitin wal Qanitat. Wal Sadiqin wal Sadiqat. Ha. Wal Sabirin wal Sabirat. Wal Khashi'in wal Khashi'at. Wal Mutasadiqin wal Mutasadiqat. Wal Sa'imin wal Sa'imat. Wal Hafidin Furuja wal Hafidat. Wal Dhakirin Allah Kathir wal Dhakirat. All of those people, men or women, Allah has prepared for them not maghfiratan, forgiveness, wa ajran azeeman, a great reward. What we learn here, brothers and sisters, is that the men and the women can all gain that title. A man can be a Muslim, so can be a woman. A woman can be a mu'min, so can a man. A woman can be a qanit, a worshipper of Allah, a person who worships Allah, wa ta'ala, so can a man. A woman can be a sad, sadiq, truthful, so can a man. A woman can be from the sabirin and the patient ones, so can, so can a man. A woman can, can be from the khashirin, the ones who come with khushu, so can a man. A woman can be from the mutasaddiqin, the one who gives for the sake of Allah, ta'ala, so can a man. A woman can be from the sa'imina, those who are fasting, so can a man. A woman can be from those who protect her private part, and so can a man. A woman can be from those who remembers Allah, ta'ala, so can a man. All of them, Allah mentions that He prepared Jannah for them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah is going to forgive them and prepare a great Jannah for them. We find out today, we find today, subhanAllah, that if a man goes and he commits zina, it's, ah, you, you know, I fulfilled my desires and we might even praise him for it. We might even laugh about it. 
But when the woman goes and she commits zina, what do we do? We shame her. Only the woman, but not the man. If you look at the ayah, Allah mentioned the men's protecting their private parts and the women the same. He says, The men who protect their private parts and the women, subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's no difference. In the eyes of Allah ta'ala, if a man commits zina and if a woman commits zina, in the eyes of Allah ta'ala, they both committed zina. If you look at the Quranic discourse and you look at it, there are virtues for the women uniquely. Yes, there are things that women have, men don't have. Virtues, like for example, the mother and the father, are they the same in the Sharia? No. The mother is not just twice or even once, she's three times given virtue over the father. That's a virtue Allah has given subhanahu wa ta'ala to the women over the men. We've been commanded in the Quran that we should not wish for those virtues to take it from the people. Yani take it from the women. And the men, the women should not want to take it from the men. Allah says, وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوا مَا فَضَّ اللَّهُ بِي بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا اكْتَسَبُوا وَلِلْنِسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا اكْتَسَبْنَا Women have their portion of good and virtue that they are higher and better than men in. Ay, naam. And the men have their virtue and that which they are better than the women in. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا تَرَكَ الْوَالِدَانِ وَالْأَقْرَبُونَ وَلِلْنِسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا تَرَكَ الْوَالِدَانِ وَالْأَقْرَبُونَ الآية. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ أَنِّي لَا أُضِيعُ عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ مِنْكُمْ مِذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى Any woman who does righteous action, and any male, uh, man who does righteous actions, Allah will not forsake the action of any men or uh, male or female. Doesn't, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this shows us that there have come tafseel and tafdeel in some aspects of men or women. Okay? And there have come women over men. That's how the Quran is. Allah Taala created us and he chose what is good for us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our mother, Umm Salama, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this ayah in, in her request and what she said. To show you that the women are a very important uh, member of our society is they are highly needed. The role that women play in society without them, men cannot do it. We can't live as men without women. And women cannot live in this world without men. We need one another. Yeah, brothers and sisters. If Adam in Jannah, not the dunya, but in Jannah had a partner and needed Hawa, and Hawa needed Adam, فَمَا بَالُكَ بِالدُّنْيَا What do you think about the dunya? Allah created us to work together, to support one another, to encourage one another to motivate one another, to benefit one another, not to work against each other and headbutt one another. And everybody wants to take from the other person. And every time a sister talks about what is her rights, the brother jumps straight away and says, feminist, wallahi, she's a feminist. She's not a feminist. She's asking for her rights. And the haqq that Allah gave her subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do you mean she's a feminist? And the sister, anytime the brother mentions things from the religion that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala stated, which is in the deen of Allah, she jumps and she says, oh, you are a misog misogynistic. That's what you are. You have hate of women in your heart. This will not work for us. This is not what Islam is about. Men have some things. Women have some things. We need one another. No one is able to survive in this world without the other. Look at the, the need that we have for our mothers and the role that our mothers play. Wallahi, our fathers can never take the role of our mother. And our mother can't take the role of her, our fathers. Each one plays their role, and each one is, if they stick to their role, the society will prosper. If we comp complement one another, rather than work against one another, a lot of khair would come from it. Why are we in each other's necks? This is not how Allah Taala speaks about it. This is not how the Quran pushes it. Brothers and sisters, we're all on the same team. We're on the team of what? Inshallah ta'ala, the ones who Allah is talking about here. Inna al-Muslimina wal-Muslimati wal-Mu'minina wal-Mu'minati wal-Qanitina wal-Qanitati wal-Sadiqina wal-Sadiqat wal-Sabirina wal-Sabirati wal-Khashi'ina wal-Khashi'ati wal-Mutasaddiqina wal-Mutasaddiqat wal-Sa'imina wal-Sa'imati wal-Hafidhina furujahum wal-Hafidhati wal-Zakirina Allaha kathiran wal-Zakirat 
وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ عَدَّلَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجِرًا عَظِيمًا I'm going to stop there inshaAllah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is for me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.